I'm just thinking about a start. Should I introduce myself? Dressed in my eyes, my eyes, right? Hey, I'm a hunk. Wash that bags in the blow away. You're not recording the new, are you? Aye. What? <laughs> Many's a poem I've written of late, and not a yin is finer. Than this one I'm telling you new, it surely is a rhymer. Concerning a couple, Jim and Maureen, a pair you wouldn't think would wed. She a sweet, devout Colleen, he a big muckle fit bonnet. One half of the couple, Jim the Jag, he's a partic man and he likes to brag. He jogs at dawn with his tracksuit on and his team we must not slag. But whilst they're no far up the table, let's no forget they're no... Oh. Cut. Tell that man again. Verse 2 again. <laughs> One half of the couple is Jim the Jag. He's a partic man and he likes to brag. He jogs at dawn with his tracksuit on and his team we must not slag. But whilst they're no far up the table, their chances no forgotten. They are the team of the thinking man. I think they're bloody rotten. He looks the double a Bob Cryer, the meanest sergeant on the bill. But in his youth he get into trouble, throwing stones with expert skill. <laughs> he likes to dance, he's quite a rocker. See, yeah, rolling stones in status quo. <laughs> I'm going to take my time, switch it after now. Do you know what I'm going to do, Steph? What? I could learn each one of these verses in two seconds by just reading them through, right? He looks the double of Bob Cryer, the meanest sergeant on the bill. But in his youth he got into trouble, throwing stains with expert skill. He likes to dance, he's quite a rocker. The rolling stones in status quo, and dressed in his fabby bell bottoms, to see Queen he queued to go. <laughs> then he change, verse 4 is in the bag. Cell tape change. What's that red? Right. His other half, Maureen's, a real half. Verse 4, take 2. <laughs> oh, shut up. What's not that? His other half, Maureen's, a real high flyer. She's seen too much of that Biggles. But when she flew over the Erskine Bridge, her bairns went into fits of giggles. Or she flew all waves and smiling, looking for somewhere to land. But her face was as white as her pilot scarf, and her Bible was firm in her trembling hand. <laughs> she really is a beauty, and Jim would do beauty, and Jim would do anything for her. Except on the day of the hairdo, designed for a hammer horror. The hairdresser was a trainee, just new and keen. Switch off, that's too much. Verse 5. Are we on? Verse 5, take 2. She really is a beauty, and Jim would do anything for her, except on the day of the hairdo, a design for a hammer horror. The hairdresser was a trainee, just new and keen to dazzle. She didn't impress her bra Maureen, whose hair was burnt to a frazzle. <laughs> Verse 6. They met in Kirk, they knelt in prayer, and smiled at each other. It was doing healthy there. Jim took his bride to Old Kirkbride Toon, to set up home with his beauteous prize. Their marriage went fine, the evidence there. You can't ignore the four wee Mackays. 
Verse 7. The eldest is Stephen. His alias is Smack. He never shops for vegetables, because he doesn't have the knack. His hair gets caught, you see, and you think it one so dim. Uh-oh. Verse 7. Take 2. The eldest son is Stephen. His alias is Smack. He never shops for vegetables, because he doesn't have the knack. He... <laughs> He's never short of vegetables. He, he doesn't shop. <laughs> he can't. He can't shop for vegetables, right? That's it. Verse 7. Take 3. The eldest son is Stephen. His alias is Smack. He can't shop for vegetables, because he doesn't have the knack. The bag dispensers beyond him, the hair gets caught, you see. Sad to think that one so dim could study and pass a degree. <laughs> change. <clears throat> Need to change a page? Right. Oh, yeah, fuck <laughs> <laughs> The next born Julie is a right wee raver. She sews with silk and cotton. Loves to boogie and dance around till she falls flat in her bottom. Verse 8, take 2. <laughs> My boys have hit the deck. <laughs> Surely is a clinker. <laughs> right? The next born Julie's a right wee raver. She sews with silk and cotton. Loves to boogie and dance around till she falls flat in her bottom. And Paul's their brother, with his middle parting. His claim to fame is stereo farting. The house is stinking, no friends come around. So Paul entertains with buttocky sounds. And last but not least, Bonnie Claire, another right wee looker. She looks so sweet it's a bit of a shock when she hauls your arse at snooker. With her broad, deep voice and her leather jackets, she thinks she's cool, but she looks a bit gleekit. With her dribbling skills, she could be big, but she's too busy drooling over Ryan Giggs. <laughs> Verse 11. <laughs> well, that's the Mackays and all their glory. My mouth is dry, it was quite a story. 25 years wed, we happiness plenty. I'll write to you a wee update in 20 hundred and twenty. Fucking arsehole. Two, two thousand. Verse 11, take 2. Well, that's the Mackays and all their glory. My mouth is dry. It was quite a story. 25 years wed, we happiness plenty. I'll write you a wee update in 2020. Excellent. Is it on? Is it the battery? Alright, yeah, new battery. My friend, Naomi, remember Steve Naomi you met out in the grass? She's an assistant, I know. Oh. Ball's coming up. So, she's in the... Get a ticket, you bum. <laughs> Fucking right. <laughs> the ball. Aye, the. Oh, aye. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, good people. It's Bobby Burns here himself. I have to deliver a wee tribute to Mr. and Mrs. Mackay from your erstwhile son, so he's to blame. Here we go. Many's a poem I've written of late, and not a yin is finer. Than this one I'm telling you new, it surely is a rhymer. Concerning a couple, Jim and Maureen, a pair you wouldn't think would wed. She is sweet, devout Colleen, he a big fucking... <laughs> <laughs> a big muckle! I said fuckle! <laughs> fuckle, muckle! Sorry. Do that again. Take a step back there. Hello, good people. It's none other than uh, Bobby Burns here. We have a tribute for yous, for your erstwhile son. <sighs> Many's a poem I've written of late, and not a yin is finer. Than this one I'm telling you new, it surely is a rhymer. Concerning a couple, Jim and Maureen, a pair you wouldn't think would wed. She is sweet, devout Colleen, he a big muckle fit bonnet. How do you? are right with the shots. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> No, it wasn't, it was uh, I thought you had zoomed in, I thought. No, we're just speaking to the first night too. One more time, you know, right?
Hello, good people. It's Bobby McBurns here, and I've been asked to deliver a wee tribute from your erstwhile son. So here we go. Many's a poem I've written of late, and not a yin is finer. Than this one I'm telling you new, it surely is a rhymer. Concerning a couple, Jim and Maureen, a pair you wouldn't think would wed. She a sweet, devout Colleen, he a big muckle fit bonnet. How do you? Is that a close-up? The one half of this couple is Jim the Jag. He's a Partick man and he likes to brag. He jogs at dawn with his tracksuit on and his team we must not slag. But whilst they're no far up the table, there are chances no forgotten. They are the team of the thinking man. I think they're bloody rotten. Oh. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm romantic in this shit, you know what I mean? Like... Well, there is a chap, mate. Are we going? We should. Are we going, Steve? Verse 4. The other half Marines are real. Maureen? Maureen. Verse 4. The other half Maureen's a real high flyer. She's seen too much of that biggles. But when she flew over the Erskine Bridge, her bairns went into fits of giggles. Or she flew all waves and smiling, looking for somewhere to land. But her face was as white as a pilot's scarf, where her Bible clenched firm in her trembling hand. She's a real beauty, and Jim would do anything for her, except on the day of her hairdo, which was designed for a hammer horror. The hairdresser was a trainee, just new and keen to dazzle. She didn't impress her bra Maureen. Maureen? I keep saying Maureen. 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 You're on too fast as well. Verse 5, again. She really is a beauty, and her Jim would do anything for her, except on the day of the hairdo, which was designed for a hammer horror. The hairdresser was a trainee, just new and keen to dazzle. She didn't impress her bra Maureen, whose hair was burnt to a frazzle. They met in Kirk, they knelt in prayer, and smiled at each other. It was doing hell for there. Jim took his bride to old Kerbride Toon to set up home with his beauteous prize. Their marriage went fine, the evidence there. You can't ignore the four wee Mackays. The eldest is Stephen, his alias is Smack. He can't shop for vegetables because he doesn't have the knack. The bag dispensers beyond him, his hair gets caught, you see. Who would think that one so dim could study and pass a degree? <laughs> Was that slow enough? Is it too fast? That's sure. There, yeah, sir. Switch off ski. <coughs> we did a lot. It's only four lines and everyone else is eight. We're still there at the top. Aye, aye. Verse 8. The next born Julie's a right wee raver. She sews with silk and cotton. Loves to boogie and dance around till she falls flat on her bottom. Paul, their brother with his middle parting, his claim to fame is stereo farting. The house is stinking, no friends come around, so Paul entertains with buttocky sounds. And last but not least, Bonnie Claire, another right wee looker. She looks so sweet and it's a bit of a shock. I mean, she hauls your arse at snooker. With her broad, deep voice and her leather jackets, she thinks she's cool, but she looks a bit gleekit. With her dribbling skills, she could be big, but she's too busy drooling over Ryan Giggs. Well, that's the Mackays and all their glory. My mouth is dry. It's quite a wee story. Twenty-five years wed, with happiness plenty. I'll write you a wee update in 2020. Thank you. That's <laughs> Congratulations, Jim and Maureen. Before I return to the ether, may you have another 25 years at least of true happiness. Bye bye.
Yeah. That'd be good actually if he panned round from there to where he's talking. Does that red light come on? Uh-huh. And it moved. Yeah. Who's there? Yeah. Um, where's the hole? Was it the red one at the front? Many's a poem I've written of late, and not a yin is finer. Than this one I'm telling you now, it surely is a rhymer. Concerning a couple, Jim and Maureen, a pair you wouldn't think would wed. She a sweet, devout Colleen, he a big muckle at Bonhead. One half of the couple is Jim the Jag. He's a partic man, and he likes to brag. He jogs at Donwee's tracksuit on, and his team we must not slag. But whilst they're no far up the table, their chances not forgotten. They are the team of the thinking man. I think they're bloody rotten. He looks the double of Bob Cryer, the meanest sergeant on the bill. But in his youth he got into trouble, throwing stones with expert skill. He likes to dance, and he's quite a rocker, rolling stones in status quo, and dressed in fabby bell-bottoms. He's seen the Queen and queued to go. Seen no? What about the guy holding the cauldron? Yeah. His other half, Maureen's a real high flyer. She's seen too much of that Biggles. But when she flew o'er the Erskine Bridge, her bairns went into fits of giggles. O'er she flew, all waves and smiling, looking for somewhere to land. But her face was as white as her pilot's scarf, and her Bible was firm in her trembling hand. She really is a beauty, and Jim would do anything for her, except on the day of the hairdo, designed for a hammer horror. The hairdresser was a trainee, a just new and keen to dazzle. She didn't impress her bra Maureen, whose hair was burnt to a frazzle. <laughs> they knelt to uh, Verse 6, take 2. They met in Kirk, they knelt in prayer, and smiled at each other, and it was Dunhill for there. But Jim took his bride to Old Kirbride Toon, to set up home with his beauteous prize. Their marriage went fine, the evidence there, you can't ignore the four wee Mackays. Their eldest son is Stephen, his alias is Smack. He never shops for vegetables, because he doesn't have the knack. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see the next bit, because it's so shaded. I don't know. I'll do that again. Verse 7, take 2. Their eldest son is Stephen, his alias is Smack. 
He never shops for vegetables, because he doesn't have the knack. The bag dispensers beyond him, his hair gets caught, you see. Sad to think that one so dim could study and pass a degree. Right. <laughs> the next born Julie's a right wee raver. She sews with silk and cotton, loves to boogie and dance around till she falls flat in her bottom. Paul's their brother with his middle parting, his claim to fame is stereo farting. The house is stinking, no friends come around, so Paul entertains with buttocky sounds. And last but not least, Bonnie Claire, another right wee looker. She looks so sweet, it's a bit of a shock when she holds her arse at snooker. <laughs> with her broad deep voice and her leather jackets, she thinks she's cool, but she looks a bit glaked. Her dribbling skills, she could be big, but she's too busy drooling over Ryan Giggs. Well, that's the Mackays and all their glory. My mouth is dry, it was quite a story. 25 years wed with happiness plenty. I'll write you a wee update in 2020. Excellent. There's a bit of stutter in there, was there not? Better get this cleaned up, ain't it? That messy kitchen you got here. And as for you. I'm surprised they can carry it. Loch Ness monster. <laughs> Your hair's on fire. It's on fire. Oh, can't have that. Can't ah! That looks mental. Eh? My hair's on fire. I got a halo. You got my frizz. Go! There's <laughs> too much wind in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like... How can you hear any of the water? I thought it was a wind tunnel. Right, go now. <laughs> Stop. Whoa. <laughs> Hi.
Yeah. Oh, on yourself, Mr. Bishop. Mr. Burns. What's that like? That's excellent. Right, Derek, when you're ready, straight down that side, to more that side than this side. Okay? And walk towards Phil. Spot on. Let's see what walk. <laughs> more this way now, right? <coughs> Up again. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, I've, uh, I've got an idea. I'm a perfectionist, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can fetch it. Aye, and if Yeah, we're just doing a wee video. <laughs> it's Robert Bond. Okay. Search of a robin.
ますけどまあ。Okay, yeah, left. We in the frame here, so. I know.